Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a video about Premier League Restart. Yes, we are just literally one week away before the Premier League gets back underway. In this video, I haven't actually covered this topic during the whole pandemic situation, so I'm going to talk to you about do I think it's right? What do I think they could have done differently? And all that kind of stuff. And also I'll tell you about the fixtures that are coming up as well. But, you know, let's just get started. There's a lot to do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first thing is, do I think it's right? I don't think it is right. I know Bundesliga have done it and fair play for Germany for doing that. But we have got to look at the current situation between the UK and Germany. And... Germany, you know, are in a better situation than us, me personally thinking. As I said, I don't think it is right, but we've got to start somewhere. And, you know, this season does stand in the way for next season. What do I think? I think it could, you know, probably be suspended till maybe September. I know that's a long way away from now. Um, but you know September we could possibly re at the situation and then gone yeah maybe we could start the season again I don't know how the football pyramid is going to work for example I know the conference have postponed their season so I don't know how we're going to work on that but it's you know there's a few bits and bits of problems that's going to go around and the other one is when fans are going to be allowed back into the stadium they're going to have a big big dilemma there because obviously I can't just let 80,000 into the stadium but this does actually bring something special to me for you that don't know I was actually born in June so for the first time ever the Premier League is going to run on my birthday it's going to be the first ever league game on my birthday I'm looking forward to that but as I said there's more important things to worry about so I wish it was in a bit more safe circumstances but if it does run all the way through I will have a Premier League game on my birthday but you know I can some of you saying I'm a Premier League predictions coming back and the answer is yes for the game I'm about to tell you Aston Villa got to Sheffield United got to Mainsick got to Arsenal got to and I will explain how I'm going to do that in this video as well but let's just run through the fixtures quickly. So the first game back in the Premier League will be Aston Villa against Sheffield United. A big game for Villa. Because they win it, they're at the relegation zone, they lose it, but obviously they're still in there. So that's a big game. And, you know, it's going to be an interesting game without no fans and see how the players uh, adapt to that. I have watched in Bundesliga and I, find, I think the players struggle just a little bit and um, then the next game is going to be Man City versus Arsenal one of the biggest games in the Premier League obviously forget about the table standings it is one of the big games in the Premier League so far so that's going to be another big important game for that 17th of June just 10 days away from my birthday so, right, I'll talk to you, like, as I said, Phil, I've got two games. So what I will do, because if you remember, I used to do, like, the game in the town when they were meant to be played, not, you know, right now. But where well, there's been such a big cut in the Premier League, so many months missed, I would do the two games. And I'll probably go, if Phil lose against Sheffield United, then I'll put them, I'll predict on the next game, who is against Chelsea, and I'll get down to that in just a minute. But I do think that it's going to be a massive game for Aston Villa going up against Sheffield United. And my predictions will be uploaded on Monday. And as for the midweek, the best way you can keep up to date on my channel is hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss an upload. But these fixtures and these predictions are going to come thick and fast. So be prepared for all the Premier League predictions on my channel coming really quickly as well. Um, the next game is Norwich versus on the 19th of June, nearly said July, <laughs> um, on the 19th of June, the next game will be Norwich versus uh, Southampton, yet again a big game at Carrow Road, if it is played at Carrow Road, we're still unsure about, you know, neutral venues, 
and I'll talk more about that in just a minute for the Liverpool occasion but yet yeah, you've got Norwich versus Southampton a big game for Norwich and if I remember rightly Norwich at you know the break didn't go off that badly either then we're going to go Spurs versus Manchester United another big game for the top four clash and um, as I said I don't know which way to call it I've got no you know going back so probably going back three months because of the big break so I ain't even going to do that and then on the 20th we go with Watford versus Leicester big game for Watford a big big game for Watford down in the bottom of their league or relegation zone battle Leicester yet yeah, and look that could be a big game for them too going you know into the top four or your open league spaces then it's Brighton versus Arsenal Brighton obviously have beaten Arsenal twice at the Amex yet again this is if it's at the Amex we're still not 100% sure whether these games will be played at home and away then we go West Ham versus Wolves yet again another big game for West Ham then for the first live ever game ever in the Premier League on the BBC it's Bournemouth versus Crystal Palace a big game for Eddie Howard and Bournemouth a massive game yet again would it be behind obviously it's going to be behind closed doors but would it be at the Vitality Stadium we're going to have to wait and see and then on the 21st we've got Newcastle versus Sheffield United then we've got Villa versus Chelsea and then we've got Everton versus Liverpool right big talking point of these you know uh, neutral venues if it was to be at neutral venues Anfield would not be running the stadiums that would be news because of where it is and you know there's some stuff around it but I find that so out of order on Liverpool if they were to win the Premier League title I know it you know it more likely will be you know so I hope they do do home and away even if it is behind closed doors and a big Merseyside derby for there for Everton as well the next obviously the 22nd Man City versus Burnley another big talking game another big game for Man City to get even the slightest bit of pressure on Liverpool but you know there's a few games I'll be looking forward to as far as I know they will all be on TV either Sky Sports or BT Sports or BBC don't worry YouTube this is not a promotional thing I'm just saying but you know hopefully a lot of football I would love to be around in the stadium on my birthday but as I said there's more important things to worry about our safety is one player safety is another Hopefully next season the Premier League Chief Executive said that we will be there back into the stadium so hopefully it won't be too long. I think the seat this season finishes around if it all goes okay on the 22nd of July. So you know I don't think there'll be no pre-season between you know the next season starting so but anyway guys this is my Premier League restart what I think what I think they could have done but hopefully this all goes according to plan without any hitches hopefully be allowed back inside the stadium soon and hopefully you know my Premier League predictions will keep on going without a major break this time but obviously nothing to do about that but um, anyway guys you know what do give us a big fat fun what you enjoy subscribe for more thanks for watching cheer up now